So we're here at the Black Magic booth with Kindle. We're going to find a little bit more information about the new cameras that are coming out with Black Magic. Yeah, we have the new Ursa camera. This is a full-blown production camera. It's uh, set up actually more for the, the workflow more than anything so that you have different zones, if you may, that go around the camera. You can set it up here and you can see we have a beautiful 10-inch screen viewfinder like a DOP could sit back and watch this. We also have it set up with five inch screens. Now these are touch screens so you can go through the menus here but you also have it set up that you can go and you can see the video. So you can have an audio person sitting over here. He's going to get meters. He's also going to get scopes, get time code, those sorts of things. And then you can have someone over here pulling a uh, focus. So you can have a focus assist on this side of the camera. So really you could have three people working on the camera. Setup that you can do one, but usually on this kind of a camera, you're going to have more of the workflow going, have a number of people working on it. It's also set up with all of the uh, regular connections that you would look at with SDI in and out. It has gen lock time code in and out and we've set it up so you can put on a uh, optional plate here and hook your battery right in the back whether it's IDX or Anton Bauer. Great thing about this camera is it shoots all the way up into the frame rate 60p so you can go 24 to 60 on this camera. It shoots to CFast cards so you have two slots here once the first card fills up it'll automatically switch over to the second card. Oh, that's nice. And uh, we're going to be shipping a couple of different models here in July. There'll be a PL mount that'll be $6,500. There'll also be an EF mount that'll be $6,000. The really unique thing about this camera is that you can actually, uh, with four bolts here, the user can upgrade the sensor. So down the road, if there's a better sensor available, they can actually pull this out and they can change the sensor and put that in there. Yep, it's, uh, it's quite a camera. It has a quick release here for the tripod and uh, we're expecting to have a B4 mount by the end of the year. So those that already have the DSLR and want to bump up the quality, what would this camera do for them? Well, we're going to come out down the road, we're going to come out with a model of the camera that actually won't have a sensor in it, but it'll have an HDMI connection. So you could take your favorite DSLR camera and you can hook it right in the front of this and use the sensor from that camera and the lenses, come through, but still have all the features and functionality of the body of the camera. And that'll be sometime down the road. You don't have a release date for that? No, we don't. Not now. Darn. <laughs>